Okay, guys, another new product. So what we've had made in the UK, by the way, uh, is these mini bits. So like a 3D printed scuttle. Now we do these in Union Jack, we'll put them in the cinematics later, but as you can see, these are high quality print. We have some other bits printed in like a, a lower quality and we've never seen anything like that. As you can see, it's super smooth, fits perfect. So we'll go on and show you how to install them. Okay guys, so like anything, first of all, we're just going to mask around there so we don't mark any paintwork. If you're confident in doing this, obviously you don't have to do the masking. But I always like to put one there because I'm going to be using my trim tool there. I don't want to mark the paintwork. So just in case we slip or something goes wrong, there's a bit of protection there. So okay guys, so we're all masked up. So obviously you've seen different ways of removing these. Some people like to lift them up, some feed them down. Now obviously the way that they're supposed to come off, you've got two hooks there and you can see by sort of the angle of them what you do is you put them in and you fold it up and obviously what you need to do is release that clip. Now those clips are mega tight in there, you're not pulling them out, they bend before they pull out basically. So what you've got to do is when you pull it forward all you're going to do is press on that clip basically there. So you pull it forward, you can see there, that much of a gap, and then you just press that and you feed it down. I will try and demonstrate here, I know it's not easy to see, but basically you're just going to pull the indicator forward, push on the little tab, and there we go, that's all out. So obviously on these, some people struggle on this as well, so all you do is twist that, which gives you your connection there for your bulb, because this is the connection. So you don't unplug this, all you do is put that in replacement of the bulb there, so that's that piece out. Obviously, it's advisable to clean behind there. Uh, and then we'll go on and show you how to install the new one. Okay, guys, so we've got the old one off. So obviously, if you're just replacing this bit and not the indicator, so I'm going to put a new set of indicators in as well. You can see there, these four little tabs. So what you're going to do is pull those back, starting at the top. And it is fiddly because you've got to pull that back and pry that away. So basically, pulling that away like that and then pushing the tab in there and obviously work your way along to all four. They are tricky so obviously there's a possibility you might snap one of these but it, it won't make any difference when putting them back in. So back to the new one. So obviously with the new scuttle insert, as you can see there, is that the right one? Yeah. So obviously it's going to go like that. So again, you can see how it works there on this one. It just basically clicks through and locks onto them little tabs there. So obviously we'll just put that in, feed all of them. You can see from the back there how it watched those and they just lock in basically like that. And the other one. So as long as them are all clicked in, as you can see that one there, that's it basically. And that's the scuttle installed. Reverse to the other one. So obviously we're gonna get the indicator. We're gonna plug it in. And then we're just going to test and I'll show you why in a minute. So as you can see guys, indicators all on. So what happens with these, see the indicator that way, if I turn that that way, we've still got the sweep so that works both ways so that's not a problem. So two little grooves there one there one there like I say you do need to feel for it and obviously we need to put that back in there to make it watertight so we'll insert that in I'm just going to twist that till it's locked so obviously these two tabs here are going to hook onto there and you'll feel so you can sort of feel there I don't know if you can see there but the clip slides into that recess which is trying to get a line on it so you can see that clip there is just going to ping against that basically so we'll go ahead with that so all lined up you've got it on the groove you've got it to the edge make sure that's clicked on just give it a gentle 
And there you go guys, all in. So that's it basically, you can now obviously remove your tape, making sure you've not trapped any of it.